Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Emax Baby Hawk Pro. Now, this micro quadcopter is an insane, beautiful, nimble, quick, efficient flyer that I have never seen anything like it before. Uh, the amount of speed, the amount of nimbleness, the throttle response on this thing was just absolutely superb. Now let's talk about some of the components. And again, they're using the Emax 1106 6000 KV. These are the V2. They're basically naked bottoms here, which is really nice, reduces weight, and uh, they were performing really well, actually. We do have a low ESR capacitor on the battery input, and they're using an XT30, which you can replace if you wanted to for some reason. However, I decided to create an adapter because I use the, my favorite micro batteries, which I'll have linked down below. Now, for ESC, they're using a BL Heli 
ESC, which is rated up to 25 amps, which is pretty good to rate for 25 amps because these things were, rate, were, were pulling roughly 20 amps at times, 20, 24 amps if I remember correctly. So that's a really good ESC. It should have an increased lifespan, especially if you're just doing, you know, it's not always running at two, 25 amps, pulling 25 amps, just in specific scenarios. And the, these ESCs should handle just fine. Now the F4 flight controller is stating they have five UARTs. So it's an F4 flight controller, not soft mounted, does have OSD and an inbuilt buzzer right there, as you can tell. So that's something nice to have in its extra. And I can't imagine how they fit all this with the buzzer here. That's just crazy. Um, yeah, that's just insane, to be honest. All right, and uh, for VTX, they're using a 25 to 200 milliwatt selectable VTX, which is, I find, as a huge plus. And not only that, it has MMCX port. So you can go ahead and replace it to one of these antennas. You can find a bunch of new antennas on the market. I've actually been testing these. These are pretty good. And what do I mean by pretty good? I got one kilometer of range without issues. So uh, I'm still trying to get the long range testing done, but I'm waiting for the weather to clear up slightly. I'll have these linked down below if you want to check them out. So it is MMCX, so you can remove this. You don't have to solder or do anything if you accidentally cut this open. Now, speaking of the antenna, uh, th I think this is the only thing that I really don't like about this is that you know it's not really fixed anywhere and but what you can do is bring a zip tie between these two holes right here and then uh, just wrap it right there and that should hold it right here and then you can you're just going to be good to go you don't you're not going to risk hitting it and uh the receiver here is also if you're using fr sky it's just compatible with the d8 protocol not a really big issue however th i don't think you'll get much range uh, because the RSS size was fluctuating quite a lot, even though I was within around 250 meters of range. But I didn't have any fail safe, so it's not really an issue. But again, I didn't go far, so I can't answer that. But usually most of these, you're not going to be doing long range stuff on. And you can easily replace this to an XM Plus radio if you wanted to. But that's up to you. Now, the overall, you know, plastic seems to be very durable, very sturdy. And um, just the build construction, the overall build construction, construction seems top quality, in my opinion. Um, I, I don't have anything bad to say about this. I mean, I really don't. I mean, I haven't had a micro uh, give me a jaw dropping moment like this one did. And when they call it pro, they're not calling it premium. They're calling it pro because it's hella fast and it can basically, you know, run 90 degree angle camera tilt and when they add that 90 they, when they give it to you out of the box this thing is at 90 degree angle tilt and when they do that they know this thing can handle its 90 degree tilt camera because it is it's, it's just insanely fast i can't answer anything this thing is absolutely crazy i mean i didn't have a hiccup usually when i'm flying something that hard um it would just sometimes do something weird this one just held up perfect Flight after flight after crash after flight after battery negative five negative four degrees it was really good that's, that's all i can say guys i mean i have nothing else to say about this it wasn't bad at all um i just can't believe how good it is i mean i've never flown a micro this good in my life before i think till now nothing really ever stood out as much as this one um usually everything has just been like okay yeah it's good it's all right it's nice it has more you know efficiency um the options are pretty cool but holy crap, this one, you just fly it for its performance, I would say. Yeah, I think performance. I mean, I'm just lost for words. It's really that good. And uh, if you were thinking of purchasing, if you were thinking, go buy it. I guarantee you're going to have absolute blast and you're going to thank me that you did. And um, yeah, overall, it's a beast. And well, that's all I can currently say, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.